And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. A VHD tomorrow, bad hair day. It seems like we've had a few of those lately, huh? We had a lot of wind in the forecast. We've had plenty of that, and we're getting more wind tomorrow. So all of us will see windy weather, but it will be especially windy for the lower Snake River Plain and the eastern half of the Magic Valley with this uh, very windy weather extending all the way to Malad Summit. So if you're going to be traveling tomorrow between noon and 9, I-15, Interstate 86, 84, it's going to be a white-knuckle day. Could see gusts up to 45 miles per hour with uh, wind speeds, sustained winds anywhere from 25 to 35. Pretty quiet out there. It looks like we have some isolated rain snow showers around Swan Valley, maybe stretching over uh, Victor or near Alpine. Dry it out a little bit. Here's our next round. That round, of course, we got the wind first, but it will bring some precipitation. Now for the Snake River Plain, it's not going to be snow. It'll be mainly liquid, and for the mountains, it'll be a mixture of rain and snow. And that could start up as early as tomorrow morning, at least for the central portion of the state. Right now in the center section of the state, we're at 57 in Haley, 45 in Salmon. Pocatello in the mid-50s, not quite at 50 in Idle Falls at 49. We're only in the mid-30s at West Yellowstone, a little bit warmer in Jackson at 42 degrees. And 160 on the map, wouldn't that be something, huh? We'll be close to it, almost 60 tomorrow. But Elko right now checking in with that temperature. Tonight's forecast, most of us dry, isolated rain showers. So, in other words, don't be surprised if there's a sprinkle of rain on the windshield. That would be that isolated rain shower. Low temperatures, wow, a little bit on the warm side. We'll stay well above freezing. In fact, for Pocatello, we'll be in the mid-40s. Uh, for the Central Mountains, same thing, isolated uh, rain showers with lows ranging from the lower 30s to almost 40 in Chalice, 39 to be exact. And for the Upper Highlands in Western Wyoming, rain and snow for some, so a bit more widespread than isolated. We'll start to see it really kick in later this evening. Lows in the 20s and 30s, looks like Driggs will stay above freezing, so mainly liquid there. Isolated rain showers in the Southeast Island, Highlands with Malad City around 40 tonight, and then for uh, Tomorrow, we got rain likely, going to wait all day for it, but it's on the way late in the day, probably sometime in the afternoon, certainly by evening. High temperatures, upper 40s to the mid 50s. For the upper highlands and uh, western Wyoming, rain and snow likely. It may take all day, but eventually in the afternoon sometime with high temperatures starting off in the 40s and then quickly turning cooler tomorrow night with it all turning to snow. Rain likely for the central mountains. Highs will range from the mid 40s to the mid 50s and for the Snake River Plain. It's going to be windy all over, but again, very windy for the lower Snake River Plain. Maybe a little bit warmer, Pocatello almost 60. And then get out your umbrella, rain likely later in the day. Seven day forecast as we look ahead. We'll start off the weekend pretty nice, a little bit cooler. And then Sunday comes in. Of course, don't forget the time change. Oh, yeah, you remember that, right? And we got some wind, more wind. And then things will start to settle down, but a bit on the cool side for this time of year. I don't fall seven day forecast, one of those half and half weekends. Saturday will be the nicer half. Sunday will be the wetter and windier half. And then Monday for Idaho Falls, there's a chance of snow. Yeah, don't hold your breath, but there is that potential nonetheless. Teton area seven day forecast. A break on Saturday, rain, snow Sunday, all snow Monday. Chance of more snow Tuesday and Wednesday. And finally, Nothing really weather-wise to talk about for your Thursday, a week from now at least, for the Central Mountains. Rain tomorrow, no rain Saturday, and then rain snow Sunday with a chance of snow Monday through Wednesday. 